Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life, coming to you from the new iPhone X. And I don't even know why I say that. It's not like they're paying my bills or anything. But listen, guys, we're headed out. We, we slept in a couple hours this morning. Uh, we had, it was, it was about 58 degrees this morning. Uh, and uh, that's, well, yeah, listen, when I say we, I mean me. This thing doesn't leave without me. Uh, and uh, we're going to fish, we're going to fish till the sun goes down tonight. Uh, but I wanted to get that sun up right, get, a ch get the fish a chance to get up underneath the grass a little bit. We're, I fully expect that we're going to have to pitch a flip a bit. We're also going to fish some Senkos real slow and probably uh, tweak some, uh, some flukes uh, just a little bit. But we're going to see if we can get this dog hunt. I got Ron to step back, step back for him, but I got Ron Bradley here. Say, hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. That's right. He's seen a few <laughs> clips before. And, and tell me your name again, Scott. Bro. Scott. And, I, and, and, it, and say, hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. And see, it's all easy peasy where we come from. But uh, listen, Ron, is, Ron has had this get trip scheduled. He's canceled. He's scheduled. I, I know he's been trying to, he's trying to, been trying to get the, the, the planets to line up here so that he can get the best possible uh, experience. And, and so I'm, I'm absolutely committed to try making that happen for him over the next couple of days. We're going to fish together for two days. And I, listen, it, we are going to have a time. It's, it's going to be a good time. So Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life. I will be back. Hey guys, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life. Just a quick update. We just finished uh, a little one and a half hour or so foyer into the jungle, uh, pitching some heavy hyacinths and punching and whatnot. Um, you know, Scott, Scott got himself a nice little one, one and a quarter pounder. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, if you haven't done that kind of fishing a lot, it's pretty exciting when you actually get a bite. Uh, you oh know, and, and we both we both got we both uh, you know Ron not we Ron Ron had himself a one or two bites too as well. Kind of one of those deals where it's almost like it's kind of surprised you done it. Yeah, you almost don't expect it to happen, <laughs> and but boy, I'll tell you, you catch a few fish doing that, and it, it really changes everything. It, it really, uh, it really, it, it, it's just part of the progression of being a more complete angler. Uh, and, and you guys are even saying there's places in your area where you know you could probably get in and do some of that. And, and that ultimately, that's that's really what this process is all about. So that satiates the teacher coach in me just a little bit. We're gonna run up in further towards the lake, uh, up into Boy Scout Cut here and find, we got a lot of clean water up in here and I got a lot of places to fish. So stay with us, man, we're, we're staying with it. Uh, Captain Dave Schneider, we'll be back. That's the Captain Dave Schneider, a little update. Hold her up a little higher for me, brother, there we go. Listen, Ron's been, Ron's been getting it. We, we've got, guys, we've gone, we've got ourselves into a pretty darn good uh, bite here with the fluke. Uh, lot, lots of pressure, we're in a heavily pressured area. Uh, I'll tell you all about that later. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. But bless God, boy, that's a good one. Hold a little taller so I get it next to your face there just a little bit. And, uh, and, and we're getting them. We're getting them. And uh, so Captain Dave Schneider, we'll be back. Good job, Ron. Well, hey, guys, Captain Dave Schneider here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interject into the video here just, just a little bit because there's something on my heart that I, I really want to talk about. Um, I'm going to be very delicate here. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to be very respectful. And I mean this, if I'm talking about a situation here and you as a, you're actually watching this and I'm talking about you, I, I want you to understand that I, I, I mean this in a, in a respectful way, all right? Crazy things happen in the water. And there's one of these things that, and I do this too, I do this too. And, and that's why I wanna talk about it real quick. I won't take a whole lot of your time here, but, but I, I want, we need to give each other the benefit of the doubt. I know I'm always willing to give myself the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> and, and uh, and I know you probably are too. You give yourself the benefit of the doubt, like, oh, I didn't mean that, or that wasn't what I was thinking. But here's the, here's the deal. I've had two situations come up in the last eight or 10 days or so that have really kind of, I don't know, they kind of, they, they put me in a position where I want to talk about this. Uh, the first one was, and, I, and, and this is all due respect to everybody involved. I received a message after the first day of the COSA event last, last week or last Thursday, Thursday, you know, 10 days ago. And it was from, a, I assume it was a subscriber. I, the message, I didn't know who it was in my phone. I have a new phone. I didn't get all my contacts. I don't, I'm not sure who it was. But bless your heart, man. Thanks. Thank, appreciate you sending me this message. But apparently, he, he had another acquaintance that um, was fishing the Costa event. And apparently, I pulled into the area that, that he was fishing. And I saw him, to, from his perspective, I saw him catch a couple of fish flipping in an area. And then he moved away. And after he moved away to let it rest, I moved in, set up my shiner operation, and proceeded to catch fish all day or, or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna say first of all, and I didn't respond to this then, um, because I think the spirit of the deal was that I was being sent this message because, hey, 
The, the guy was actually very nice to me. He said, look, I told him, no, nah, that doesn't sound like Captain Dave. He probably didn't see you, this and that and the other thing. But ultimately, I think the spirit of the message was, hey, just so you know, Dave, or Captain Dave, um, this guy wants to fish there tomorrow, so he'd appreciate it if you don't. I kind of think that's what that was. Um, my problem was I wasn't sure which spot it was. I fished four locations that day. Um, I caught fish in all of them. I will tell you very honestly, guys, and this is where perception is so important. Um, I pulled into every area that I fished there was nobody in. I mean, there were fish, fishermen everywhere because the lake fished really small. It's still fishing really small. But, uh, and I didn't respond to this message from the sender. And again, I, with no disrespect intended, but at that point when I got the message, I actually, I already knew that my good friend Nick was missing and, and I just, there were other things on my heart. But something happened today that's kind of brought this whole thing back up to me again. And I, and I, and I, I do want to address this real quick. And I'm going to address this from my perspective in that I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do differently to help circumvent some of this very quickly. That's really the end of the, 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 the story from, from the monkey box. I'm just gonna say flat out, I didn't see anybody fishing. Um, if I had, I don't know if it would have mattered. I, I didn't see anybody catch any fish, um, but guys, listen, you don't, if you fish an area and you wanna keep it, stay on it. Uh, I do. If, if I leave an area and, and I come back, somebody's on it, I go to another area. I, it's just, it's the way it is. Now, you might think, oh, I'm fishing a tournament. This is my whole life, and so on and so forth. Okay, okay, I get that. But, but you know, everybody has that kind of a feeling, you know? Guys, when I'm fishing, it's my life. It's, it's what I'm doing. It's, it's, I'm, people are paying me money to do this kind of thing. But that doesn't give me special, that doesn't give me special claim over water. I will say this. When I'm shiner fishing, I do have some standards that I appreciate. If my poles are down and I've got to spread out, I'm not going to generally say a word to anybody until they start pitching probably within 30 to 50 feet of my floats. If that starts to happen, I'm probably going to ask you not to do that. Um, and I, I will. You may tell me to kiss your grits. <laughs> and and, and I, I guess that's where we're at with it. Um, but I, I may say something about it. Um, if, if I'm artificial fishing and my trolling motor is in the water, my poles aren't up and I'm moving through an area, I don't get to assume that I can just go back through that area again and not have somebody else fish it. It's just not the way fishing is, guys. Um, but today in particular, um, I, went up, I went down South Bay, had a great day. A special shout out to Ron and, and Scott. They did so good. We had like 26, 28 fish today on all our artificials. Caught most of them uh, on a, uh, on a, actually on moving a fluke really slow. The best bite really was just pitching it out into a hole and kind of letting it sit there for a second and fish it. You know? And so it was pretty good. We had a really nice day. I have three other spots down there I didn't even go to today. Uh, but having said all that, when I pulled into the area, there was a boat to the right about 100 yards from me, and he was flipping. And, and the, guy, the dude's a, a, he's a, he's a, he's a guy that works as a guide, I think, sometimes, because I've seen him in a situation where it looked like he was guiding. Um, but I heard him say something to another guy that really, really, I didn't appreciate very much. And, and I'm going to throw it out here, guys. I, this guy's got a center council boat, and he was fishing. It looked like maybe he was fishing with his girlfriend and his wife. He might have been tournament fishing today. But he made the statement that I guess those dudes with the fancy boats can just cut everybody off if they want to or can fish, you know. And it was directed at me. And it bummed me out because, guys, don't just dislike somebody just by looking at them. Guys, if you want to dislike me, that's fine. But get to know me first, and then you probably won't like me anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, but don't just, guys, we can't make assumptions like that. And I'm going to stop doing that. I've done it before myself. It's like you just, there's just an animosity sometimes towards other fishermen. But, you know, when the chips are down and something happens to somebody, everybody and everybody gathers together and says, we are fishermen, we are fishermen. And it's, it's the way we need to be all the time. And I'm going to work harder at that. I, I really am. I'm going to work harder at that. And as far as the courtesy thing goes, um, here, here's my perspective on what happened today. The fellow that I'm talking about that made the comment, I, I don't know why. He, he kind of came up as I was moving. I had about a 100-yard stretch into the wind that I was fishing right to some specific marks that I was going to fish at. And I had a very intention of going there. There was nobody on him. I, I mean, I was looking right at my, the area I was going to fish. Not my spot, but the area that I had wanted to fish. There was nobody there. Um, this guy kind of moved up as I was coming up, but we were kind of both kind of going like this, you know, eh, I, I, it didn't matter to me. He was fishing, I was fishing, no big deal. But what was troubling was there was another couple of dudes coming this way, coming this way with the wind at their back. Guys, they were a couple of hundred yards at the, I'm being generous, a couple of hundred yards easy, um, away when I started to make my shot towards this thing. 
And they were coming right at me. Guys, here's all I'm going to say. I'm going to say this. The lake's a big place, but it fish is small sometimes. You, you can't, it's not realistic to think that you can be on a line that's a half a mile long and think that no one is going to be, it's unethical for somebody to come in. I, I just don't think that's realistic. Uh, this guy got close enough to me, and I was, at that point, I was on the spot I wanted to fish, and my poles were down, and, but he made the statement, bless his heart, man. He's like, boy, it's a big lake, and I knew exactly what he was thinking when he said it. And I looked at him, I said, yeah, but it's fishing pretty small. And there were, there were 25 boats within 300 yards. I'm not kidding maybe 400 yards of a circle of, of where I was at and where he was at. And I might've been the last one to show up at the party. That's, that may be true, but there was nobody in the area where I moved in to fish. He was very, anim he had a lot of animosity towards me. Um, you know, I said, you know, bud, I, I didn't see you here yesterday. And he's like, well, I had to work yesterday. And, and I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm not gonna say anymore. Cause I got, I got a little smart alky and, and I shouldn't have probably. But at the end of the day, I fished my stuff. My guests caught a ton of fish. They went, they caught fish too, man. I, you know. But we got to stop making assumptions about other fishermen and getting angry all the time. Yeah, we just got to stop doing that. I, I'm going to really work at stopping that. I, I promise you. Uh, um, if you see him in the water and I start being an a-hole, shout me out, man. Captain, you said you weren't going to do that. <laughs> and I'll write my ship. You know, I'll write my ship. Um, but guys, we got we to gotta give each other the benefit of the doubt. We just do. We, we're, we're so quick to, when we got our troll motor in the water and we're fishing, guys, come on, man especially when you're if you're on a, if you're on a real hard grass line and you're working your way up and somebody gets I don't know I'm gonna say 100 yards somebody gets within 100 yards of you and they start fishing at you or maybe ahead of you a little bit within 100 yards I think you probably have the thought you have the right to probably think yeah that's not too cool you know you probably do uh, but but that's after that I'm gonna say you, you can't stake off that much territory guys especially when there's so many boats fishing in such a small area uh, Captain Dave Schneider, let's be good to each other. I apologize for hurting anybody feeling, anybody's feelings on the water today. Um, it's not the image that I want to portray. Um, it's just not the image I want to portray. But I'm also going to work hard for the people that are paying me money to help them have a good time. And uh, I, 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 if you feel like I've done something, if you feel, you, hey guys, if you feel like somebody's encroaching on you a little bit, you know, don't start calling them unethical. That's never going to go anywhere. You know, you may say, hey, man, um, do you mind, you mind if I fish right through here? That's, that's what I would say. I, honestly, I, do you mind if I fish right through here? And that's probably your way of saying, I was kind of on this line and you're sitting in it now. Do you mind if I fish my way through? You know, I'd say, sure. Go ahead, man. In fact, I had other people today. Um, there, there's, a, there's a guy that uh, I see on the water quite a bit. He's got that He's got a lawnmower thing on the side of his boat. Really nice wrap. He's a heck of a fisherman. I've seen him many, many times. And we were kind of headed at each other. And I pulled over and said, come on, man, fish right through here. Come on right through, bro. And he was catching fish too. And, and uh, But that's how it needs to be. I mean, I just said, everybody. Guys, let's get along. Gosh dang it. Captain Dave Schneider, I love you guys, man. Uh, I so much I appreciate you guys checking in with me today. I'm going to shoot a much longer video tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have my cameras in the boat. We're not expecting any rain. I, I kind of keep it down a little bit when it's going to rain. Um, but we're going to get you a full day on the water tomorrow. Uh, if you like the video, man, hit the like button. Do me a favor, subscribe. Captain Dave Schneider, we're building fire. We'll see you tomorrow.